Good morning. Well, actually, I should say good afternoon. It's like, what, 12 o'clock now? Today we are chopping down trees. I got all my plants planted yesterday. My camera died. I don't think you guys got to see the end of it, but... This is all the plants. I don't know if these are going to grow. Somebody tell me if this is going to work. I just chopped the tops off of strawberries and then planted them in dirt. <laughs> see if they'll grow. Um, but we got some lemon balm, some marigolds, two different kinds of onions, a bunch of different hot peppers, early jalapenos. Um, I think I might have one or two rosemaries that finally sprouted. I tried to sprout lavender and I need to do some research on that because I don't know if you can just sprout lavender and then plant it or if it has to be put in the ground. And then my seeds have sprouted. So, Oh, I gotta get gloves. Getting gloves. All right. right oh yeah, those work. All right, guys, let's go chop down some trees. start with the little tree first and we've got this one here that's leaning you can see it you're just gonna drop it the way it's leaning right yeah let's see how this goes
A few moments later chain fell off the chainsaw so Micah's gonna go fix that but while I was sitting here I turned the camera off and I'm just kind of sitting here listening do you guys hear that those are frogs and they go from the time the Sun comes up until late at night so um, as you guys have seen us chopping these trees down we're chopping the main trunk into 18 inch pieces and what we're going to do with it is we're going to stack them up and make raised bed gardens so we want to at least get one bed made today um, and be able to show you guys that we're putting it up where other raised bed is that we showed you guys yesterday um, we're not sure how many trees we're going to be able to get through um, we had anticipated getting through four trees we might be able to get through three we'll see how much energy and strength we have um, as we get through this tree so we're just waiting on Micah to fix the chain that fell off the chainsaw and then we will get back into business so um, we're gonna finish chopping this tree down and then we might if we're up for it chop one more um, but it'll probably be a smaller one because these taller ones are quite big um, it looks a lot bigger when they're on the ground than when they're standing up So another thought that we had as we're chopping down these trees, we've only chopped down two so far. Well, two and a half. There was one tree um, way back by the first one that we chopped down. The top had fallen off during the winter time. Um, and we just chopped that one. It was already on the ground. We just chopped that up into wood. So um, we already have a fairly big pile. And I turned the camera around so I could show you guys all these trees behind me. We're going to be chopping down eventually. So we're going to have a lot of wood. And Mike made the comment, we're probably going to have to have a burn day just so we can get through a lot of it. But we don't live too far from a um, national campground. And there are other neighbors 
of ours that will put signs up um, and sell their wood for to the campers, so campfire wood. And we are thinking we might do that, put a sign up and just put, you know, five dollars for as much as you can carry and just put a sign so that they know how to get to our place. We're really not that far. It's maybe a mile, maybe two miles from the campground. So I'm a lot closer um, than going into town and would be a lot cheaper than just buying those little bundles. So we may be doing that. guys so we didn't get through even this whole tree we got through half of it it's about four o'clock right now and we are exhausted never realized how much work chopping down a tree would be and then carrying the logs over to the garden in a wheelbarrow guys my butt is burning so we're gonna call it a day Micah has to work both morning and night shifts tomorrow he milks in the morning and milks at night, so we would like him to have some energy to be able to do, do that. But I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about. Oh, let me go drop his axe off at the garage first so I don't have to carry it all the way over there. Well, can you grab this axe? Can you grab this for me? Thank you. Thank you, Toad. That chain needed the oil. Yeah, a big chain. It's a lot easier. So, had a little slowdown with the chainsaw. We had to go get oil for it, and that helped a lot. And then we stopped and got some food because we hadn't really eaten anything but breakfast. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna show you our idea. So, let me flip you around. So, here is the raised bed garden we showed you yesterday. This is the front of the house. House, well, house is right there behind Micah. But this is what we're planning on doing with the trees that we chopped down is creating more raised beds. So when we get done chopping that tree back there because the base of the trunk is way bigger than these, we're gonna have to rearrange it again to figure out how we can get it to fit, but we'll probably finish that Sunday. We should at least get one done by Sunday, yeah. Yeah, we should at least have one bed done by Sunday. I don't know when we're gonna be able to fill them and plant them, but it's all in good time. Yeah. Right, guys well that's all we have for you today we thank you for watching um stay tuned like i said yesterday we post videos regularly and we will see you guys tomorrow thanks guys have a good night god bless see ya. bye